someone behind the scenes is trying to make them fight so that they don't focus on what's bigger and what's the real issue. For me, the real issue is that because most of the wealth is with the settlers. Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new, I am Ongil Zalalem and today I want us to talk about um, tricky, very tricky in my opinion, topic because it's not black or white in my opinion at least. Um, so a South African official has angered many people and uh, many people are also on her side for something that she has said. She was talking to a Zimbabwean patient and let me just show you the clip first. We'll come back and discuss. <laughs> You speak Shona, and then how do you find yourself in Villa Villa when you are supposed to be with Mundangago? You know he doesn't give me money to operate you guys, and I'm operating you with my limited budget. Oh, well, you can't appreciate that. You are killing my health system. You are killing my health system. When you guys are sick, I'm hearing these days, you just say, let's cross the Mbopo River, there's an MEC there who's running the charity department. It's not. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something that is truthful and painful. You know that SA goes and count people during the census and tell me that in Limpopo you have got 5.7 million people and tell me out of that 5.7 million, 91% do not have medical aid, they are dependent on the state. 9% uh, they will say has got medical aid, they depend on private hospital. And then they go and give national treasure. When national treasury allocates its budget, they said Limpopo has got 5.7 million people and they subtract the 9 9% and they give me the budget of the 91 to do all these operations. Now, I am here, instead of using the budget for what it's meant for, I'm operating for what Munangwabwa is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And that is why when my people of Limpopo want health services, they can't get. Mm -hmm. And that is angering the community. Because you are coming here to, I was in George Masai, we are busy operating with Mozambique and National everywhere. And you are not even registered anywhere. You are not counted. You are even illegal. And you are abusing me. This is unfair. First of all, watching this video really made me sad uh, because this patient, as you can tell, is just there because um, she didn't have another maybe alternative and the doctor saying what she was saying to her just because she's a doctor it just makes it worse because as a doctor um, you make an oath you um, are not supposed to say certain things for example in their oath there is something that they sign it says i will not permit considerations of age disease or disability creed ethnic origin gender nationality, political affiliation, race, sexual orientation, social standing, or any other factor to intervene between my duty and my patient. So clearly the doctor didn't follow uh, through the oath she made. So that's wrong on its own. But with that being said, even though I believe that was not right, that will, that's not something you do. That's not ethical. You don't do that um, to the patient that is right there. You know, I don't know recovering from what she said, um, operating on her. So I don't know what she operated on her. But again, I'll say this. I think it was wrong the way she said it, the fact that she said it, she's a doctor. But I believe there was some truth to what she was saying as in you know at the end of the day she'll be given a specific amount of resource because of the census as she said and 
I believe the Zimbabwean um, patient was illegal. So she's saying I'm not being funded enough to provide for all these people and that is affecting the people that I'm supposed to serve, which is fair enough. Should she have said that to the patient? No. Did she use the right tone? No. Was it appropriate to say that? No. Was it ethical? No, but I see the point that she is trying to make and I understand how people are angry with what she said, but I also understand why South Africans, the locals feel the way they feel. They feel like the resource that was supposed to be for them is being taken away and somebody else is using it. And I understand that side as well. And I don't like when people um, portray South Africans as these people that don't care or like hate other Africans. I don't think that's the case. I, I do understand there is a sentiment and I've, I've seen how xenophobia plays its role when it comes to people from other African countries going to South Africa and how they were treated. I do not support that and I don't think it's right. But I do believe there is a misplaced anger because as the doctor said, the Zimbabwe government needs to step up. The Zimbabwe government need to do its part for its people to not want to flee their country and become an illegal immigrant somewhere else. Every government has a responsibility of taking care of their own people i agree with that but at the same time this divisive sentiment is not going to help us i know that for a fact because it's only going to affect the people that are living middle class or lower than that and the people that are rich or politicians or the white people in south africa are not going to be affected like i found a stat and i was so shocked to find this out white people in south africa own 72 percent of the land mixed people own 15 percent of the land and indians own five percent guess how much land black south africans own four percent and other africans own three percent and this is according to south africa's 2017 land audit report so when black south africans have four percent of land for me how i see it is the bigger issue is the fact that 72 percent of land is owned by white south africans that's the bigger issue in my opinion because the black South Africans, the locals only own 4%. Even Indians have 5% and it's way more than what black South Africans have. So for me, it's like I even sometimes feel like the, the, the conflict between other African uh, nationalities and South Africans is being, you know, handled or like someone behind the scenes is trying to make them fight so that they don't focus on what's bigger and what's the real issue for me the real issue is that because most of the wealth is with the settlers and black south africans are left there thinking how come the wealth is not being shared and we're the locals but the unfortunate thing is and i can be wrong what i'm seeing or what i'm realizing is they turn around and they see the three percent of africans other nationalities that are not south africans they have this land and they're probably their neighbors they can't reach the white south africans because they live in ex an exclusive place where they don't even allow some south africans to enter their land because i I have I have done a report on um I think it's called Orania, a town that they only allow white people and it's in South Africa. So they see their neighbors and they're like, ah, this person is taking away from what was supposed to be going to my family and they're affecting me. And I get that, but I also want to, you know, direct people to the real issue. Instead of turning on your brother, you focus on who is actually running the show and who's actually stealing from you and what belongs to you so yeah that's what i want to say and that's my takeaway from this and i really really hope other governments step up as well zimbabwe if, if you take care of your business your people don't have to go to south africa and share somebody's resource and what i have to say about south africans is i understand that you are going through so much and I'm not gonna point a finger and say, why are you doing this? I understand the reason why you're doing it, but I just want to ask you to focus on what really will make a huge impact in your life and your children's life, which 
is in somebody else's hand right now. I don't think it's the other African nationalities that are taking away that chunk of wealth that belongs to you. I believe, yes, they are sharing resources like this um, doctor is saying, obviously they are doing that, but on a bigger scale, if you demanded for what's rightfully yours, I don't think this 3% will matter, you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, fam, just understand I'm not coming from a bad place. I am trying to see things from both sides and I see everybody's point. But this doctor, in my opinion, did not do the right thing by speaking to the patient like that. But let me know down below if you're South African or if you're not from South Africa. Anybody can comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. But please do it respectfully. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.